It's hot, guys. It is so hot that we see temperatures this week planning to go as high as 37 degrees Celsius, which is like, I think, 96 or 98 degrees Fahrenheit, if I do the conversion properly. Anyway, how do you stay cool for the summer? For me, I stay in my office, which is in the basement of my house. So it's always cold down here. And uh, upstairs, it's medium warm. So we always hang out downstairs where we have a television so, so we can watch our Netflix shows. And uh, we have an ice maker that we paid like $200 for at a place called, I believe it was Rona, where we bought our ice maker from. And uh, yeah, so we always fill up our water with ice so it keeps us cool. Granted, you probably still sweat a bunch, but the goal and the thing you need to remember is stay hydrated this summer. So cold water, cold basement. Another thing you can do is a lot of people will put foil on their windows. They'll put foil on their windows before the sun comes up, block the daylight from coming in, and stopping the heat from coming in as well. Now, this might work, this may not work, but I don't recommend it if you have a lot of plants, because then you're starving your plants of their food. Photosynthesis, the sunlight, all that good stuff. But if you want to try it out, remember to put foil on your windows before the sun comes up, and that should help keep some of the heat out of your house. Another thing you can do is at night, around midnight, if you're still awake, keep all your windows open till about 7 a.m or 6 a.m., depending where you are, and you can let in all that pass-through air, that cold air come in at night, and trap it, and close your windows, and again, make sure there's tin foil on your windows. Also, if you live in condos, apartment buildings, look at your leases, look at the thing you signed when you offered to live in the house. Make sure there's um, no no-nos about putting foil on your property, on your windows, because sometimes there's uh, you can't do this or that on your agreements before you move into a house, so make sure that is actually allowed. Another thing you can do is, uh, if you don't want to foil up your house uh, on your windows there, you don't want to put foil shiny sight out on your windows, another thing you can do is keep your windows open all day and create pass-through air. So any little wind you get, have it pass through your house by having one side of the house with your windows open, the other side also with your windows open, and then that way when a breeze comes in, it will feel so nice. The other thing you can do is install fans. Installing fans on your house will also help uh, because you will be able to circulate the air. It's all about, you gotta keep it circulated, right? Circulate your air. These are just common things, common ideas, and I hope I have helped you in some way. If you have any other ideas on how to keep your house cold without purchasing an air conditioner, uh, let me know down in the comments. My name is J.R. Bjarnson. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube videos. I upload them when I can or when I'm hit with a big old inspiration bubble, which kind of was today. Take care. Thanks for watching.